Over 60% of Brazil's 36 million cars run on petrol containing ethanol, a plant-based biofuel that is kinder to the environment than fossil fuels. And demand is growing in the world number two biofuel producer. This leftover sugarcane pulp is the latest source for ethanol. It contains cellulose, an ingredient in every plant on earth. Brazilian company Ryzen prides itself on being one of the first globally to use this technology to make the biofuel of the future. It's a revolutionary product because you can use practically any type of biomass. That opens a big door because anyone whose agricultural production leaves a biomass byproduct, which has no use really, can turn that into ethanol. Ryzen's sugar and biofuel factory in Piracicaba near Sao Paulo started making what scientists call second-generation ethanol last year. With several more plants in the pipeline, the firm hopes to increase output by 1 billion litres a year by 2024, minus the pollution. The firm expects to increase ethanol production by 50% thanks to this new process, without having to expand our plantations. Because it's produced through improved efficiency, there's a net reduction of carbon dioxide. During the process, extended heating and chemical treatment gradually breaks down cellulose into the green fuel. But the technology is very young and expensive. Top global producer the US has a handful of operations, while in total only about 40 pilot projects dot the world. So you won't see factories like this popping up everywhere just yet. The process has not reached commercial maturity yet. It has to be optimized and we need to reduce costs, both on the operational and maintenance sides. Food crops face less competition for land and water with this new ethanol, which promises cleaner and cheaper energy. As more and more countries make fuel blending compulsory, it might help to make the future look just a little greener.